is too far away. But it'll be here before you know it. Before you even know it, fam. It's just after midnight here. Monday, February 26th. So, hope y'all are ready for a late night Bible study session. That's why we're here. Let us once again open our scriptures to the book of J-O-B if you catch my drift. Chevy Five Speed, what's up, man? Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Good to see you. I'm alright, man. I'm doing okay. Just It was another difficult day. I did one order and some fucking weird shit happened where... Dude, okay, so I was on an order today from Grubhub and I, uh, I picked up the order... And then I got another order on my screen for the same restaurant. And when I went to go grab the order, I uh, went to go complete the second order and the button was gone. The fucking, uh, accept, you know, like the, uh, like, a, a, I picked up the order button or whatever is gone. So I call support and they're like, oh, you gotta, you gotta deliver the order and then call us and then we'll, we'll help you get it completed. It's like some fucking sus ass shit, dude. But I, mean, I just, uh, canceled the order and, you know, these days, man, if, uh, if there's anything, if there's anything like whatsoever that's like anomalous, I just, I just cancel it. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna get roped into another... That, that sauce, dude, it was fucking bizarre. I've never seen this shit in my life, man. The button disappeared. I guess it wasn't it wasn't even there to begin with, but you know what I mean? It's just like where the button was supposed to be, there was no button. I couldn't complete the order. This weekend was ass. Made 252 in 17 hours. Awful. Damn, sorry to hear that, bro. Let's see, 252 in 17 hours. Sounds like some... Sounds like some glitch dash money there. <laughs> see, 252 in 17. Yeah, that's like $14.82 before gas per hour, so... It's not very good, but yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, man. You're not alone, though. Chevy, or, uh, Ryan L., what's up, man? I said hi to Chevy. I hope you guys are having a good night so far. Yeah, so I did, I did one order for $8 going six miles from uh, the Mexican restaurant nearby. And I just... Uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm to the point now where, like, I, I you know, I'm, if anything goes wrong, I just, like, fly off the handle, and I just have very little patience for this shit anymore, so I just canceled, I just, you know, I canceled the order and, and turned, turned the app off and went back home. My meme game is so fucking fire. <laughs> These memes are awesome. <laughs> yeah. She's funny as fuck. Did you stream last night until 5 a.m.? I feel I fell asleep at like 3 30. Yeah. Yeah, we went for about f almost five hours. Said, so I feel you, Brian's been horrible out here. Yeah, it sucks, bro. It's been really hard. I'm tired of people pretending it's not, you know? The vast majority of us are struggling financially, and I'm tired of people pretending that's not the case. Let's talk more work. Yes, me lord. More work. W... Wouldn't be the same without them. So my Uber Eats acceptance rate is now 0%. Keep getting this exact same, the same exact low-paying order sent me to me several times. Started the day at 5%. Got the same order going 19 miles. $5 eight times. Yeah, and they ding you every time. Every time you decline that same order, they ding you. Weed dash, yeah. Yes, let us read from the book of J-O-B. I gotta get a new torch on this thing's about to die. The little the little starter apparatuses could put use a lighter just to light it. Good stream last night. Yeah, it was a W stream for sure. See, I can, I can pin a, a message 
I can pin a message, but I gotta do it. I gotta do it for my own live chat. <laughs> It's kind of cool, man. If I uh, put the the stream on horizontal like this, none of the uh, it, it doesn't. I guess it doesn't show show the live the live feed to to uh, new people because there's no like influx of trolls. <laughs> Which you know they're they're part of the fun. You know it's part of it's all all in good fun. But it's nice to uh, you know what I mean it's just nice to nice to have like a a conversation you know un unhindered by uh, by the juvenile delinquents. said so much better like this bro yeah i tend to agree i would hit the, the playback and i was like wow this is way way more the you know the format's way more convenient easier on our end when using mobile right it's better that way for all parties concerned Noticed it last night, yeah. It's, just, it's a little bit, <clears throat> it's a little bit more difficult to get used to, on my end, but just a minor adjustment. The other option, people scroll through all the lives, right? Right. Like I said, I'll, uh, you know, keep doing, keep doing both formats to, to switch it up, you know. Chillickers, guys. The devil done. The devil got me on that one. The Lord done spoke. See, he said. <coughs> I don't know what the the kid crap is. It's in every stream. Like everyone, they're saying they're they're eight. It's all in all the lives. Right, right, right. Yeah, no. Like, uh, it just goes back around to the the fact that YouTube and the internet in general are just very bored, bored and boring places. Everyone's bored and everything is boring, and people are literally just uh, you know. The thing is, the thing is, Chevy Five Speed. They're not. They're not little kids. They're not eight. They're just. They're just saying that you know. I don't know. Maybe they are, but they're just you know. Everyone's fucking bored. Trolls are fun sometimes, but it gets annoying. It does. It does. It kind of just derails things after a while. But it is part of the game. It just comes with the territory. YouTube is bugging. Yeah, YouTube sucks. YouTube fucks us all. He said, do you have you ever had green the green corn vape pen? No, I don't, I don't think I ever have, man. I don't, I don't think I ever have. This is the uh, the vapor pen that I have. It's called uh, Breeze. Yeah, you just light it up. There's a little red light there, and then you can press it three times to change the setting. Four settings: blue, green, yellow, red, and then you can click it five times. Turn it off. Five times, turn it back on. And then it just uh, charges with a USB port. It's very convenient. They sell these things for like 15, maybe 16 bucks. And then if you, uh, you know what I mean, the, the vapor cartridges, if you buy them in bulk, you can get them for 10 bucks a gram or 10 bucks a unit. Which I think they are actually. They are one gram. It's all relative, but you know what I mean. <sighs> I gotta get some coffee, guys. 
guys, I just woke up, man. I'm like, I'm still just like, pad. just trying to get my damn head screwed on right. <laughs> to be completely honest with you, but guys, to be comp completely 100% candid with you, I did not freak out today at the the app fucking up. I I lost it when I t uh, took a piss in the uh, my my piss bottle, and then, uh, you know what I mean like in in a hurry I f forgot to uh, uh, I forgot to dump it and uh, I knocked it over and got pee in my car. Just a little tiny bit. I think the cap was still screwed on, but it was not screwed on all the way. So. That's what made me flip, lose my shit today. I fucking spilled pee in my car. I cleaned it up, but god damn it, dude. It's so annoying. It's such a fucking annoying, mad-making job. I should have, you know what I mean? It's like I grabbed the order and then like, you know what I mean? I should have dumped the pee when I took a piss, but I was just in a hurry. I wonder what time is. Time to wake up? Yeah, he's, he's around here somewhere. It's, it's late night. It's getting to be nighttime here in America, so it's probably it's probably in, pr probably unwinding, you know. Probably at, at home in his jammies. Love the carts, live resin only though. Yeah, and I have to, I only can uh, smoke them out of out of uh, water. Like I have to use uh, ice and water. It just it, like I've been smoking for so long. Like just like you know, I was I was puffing on my uh, pipe today. I had broken down a couple of roaches and I was pu uh, puffing on the pipe, and it was like I was like just like eh, eh, you know, it's just, shit just kills me, bro. Tar is like super heavy, especially in weed. Weed is very heavy tar. So they open a place here. It's like thirteen for, oh, 13 to eighteen for one pre roll. Yeah, that's about how much they cost. It's usually about what they cost. You can get you can get like a pretty like low quality you know cheap one or whatever, for probably, I would say under ten dollars. But yeah, between like five and ten bucks is the cheapest they go. But do they go up to like all the way up to forty dollars, man? You get a joint for forty bucks, plus plus tax. Which, like I said here, it's a six percent sales tax and then a ten percent excise tax, or a sin tax, if you will. So, <laughs> the Mint Mobile ad, yeah, I should have turned the ads off, bro. I really should just keep the ads off. It doesn't even matter. Does it just keep does it just keep playing the ads every few minutes? Is that is that how that works, or how often does it play the ad? Because I didn't have to see an ad to uh, enter the chat. Because I'm I'm uh, I'm in the live chat from my other my other phone. But I have to I don't have to watch no ads. I don't have to watch my own ads. But yeah, you can buy uh, you can buy like really high end joints, man, that are like uh, you know rolled in the dust, and they got uh, you know little like um, like uh, you know like smooth uh, like ceramic tips, and they're just like you know very very uh, top shelf, very exotic for the for the weed snob. We all got a little weed snob in us. Cole C, what's up, man? Welcome back. The town that I live in, in Eugene, Oregon, low-key has some of the best weed prices in the country. Oh, I believe it, man. I believe it. That part of the country, man, like, like, Washington and, like, and, like, Oregon area, you know, like, the, uh, the Northwest, they have, like, some of the, some of the most exotic strains you've ever seen, man. It's, like, one of the, you know what I mean? Northern California, you know, like, that region. Yeah, Oregon. I haven't been to Oregon in a long time. Not since I was a kid, but I imagine they have amazing weed there. Like this. 
You know what we're talking about? But yeah, Eugene, Oregon. This is some of the best weed prices in the country. Nice. It's awesome, bro. They just started it at the beginning of the year. Black tar is my favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta love love some H. Big time, big time. <laughs> I got premium hate ads. Yeah, they have there's like ad blocker apps too, you know. It's like browsers that you could download. But I know sometimes I'll tune into somebody's live stream and it'll be like a an intermittent ad, but it's they're pretty far a few between, I think. Mr. Naughty Paws, exactly. How do they make new strains? I have no idea. It's a really good question, man. I have no idea how they come up with this shit. I I uh, grew grew some weed once when I was like back when I was like nineteen, and you know, long story short, that had ended in a debacle. But I mean, that's all that's all water under the bridge. You know, that's all ancient history. It's all been the record has been corrected. It's all been sealed. But uh, you know, as a uh, as I remember, um, this uh, you know, the process for for cultivating uh, indoors is like is like very like highly specific and technical and like. A lot can go wrong, you know. There's like a million uh, little uh, de determining factors, con contributing factors that can can easily go wrong. And to sit there and like try to try to like conjure up an image of what exactly goes into, you know, what I mean, the process of of coming up with, you know, with like new hybrids and shit. I don't know, man. That's it's a really good question. The dabs in the carts here are priced perfectly. Like most places for dabs, it's like forty to fifty a gram for the basic stuff, and then sixty dollars plus for the good. Here it starts at twenty-five a gram for basic. Okay, right on. Yeah, like I said here, if you if you buy if you buy them in bulk, then you can get a good deal. But you gotta buy, uh, you know what I mean? You gotta buy a ten at a time. They crossbred strains that already exist. That's why most things in dispensaries are low-key hybrids because of all the crossbreeding that's been done. Yeah, it's just they're kind of to be to be honest with you, man. They're kind of all the same to me. They kind of all hit the same. I don't really can't can't tell the difference between the different types. Got it for YouTube Music too, though. Okay. <laughs> the oh yeah the Halloween specials, yeah Integrity Farms yeah I saw that one the other day. <laughs> Randy Marsh, best farmer, yeah. That's funny. So I've been I've been mewing. I don't know if you guys can tell. <laughs> you said the Christmas sp special with the Coke. I'm trying to remember that one. I think I missed. I'm gonna miss that one. I've been slowly uh, trying to <clears throat> you know spend some time to catch up on some of the South Park episodes, but I've I've found that uh, you know as time goes on, um, if if uh, you know what I mean, like a piece of media is not um, fresh, it's like I don't know, man. There's like a relevance factor that goes into whether or not I'm willing or motivated to watch something, you know? Especially, you know what I mean? Especially if I've already seen it, which a lot of the early episodes of South Park were, you know, which are also a completely different format than what you see today. You know, as time goes on, evolution of the show and everything. But... <laughs> like Simpsons or Family Guy, man. I don't. Yeah, this shit sucks, man. Most of these shows suck. South Park's still pretty funny.
Who's your favorite Twitch e-girl? Well, I'm not on Twitch, so uh, my favorite Twitch e-girl. Um, trying to think of like off the top of my head. Do I even know of any Twitch e-girls? I don't. Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know of any uh, e-girl e streamers. Sorry, I couldn't answer your question better. <laughs> I just got Blue Balls band group for the night. 1524 for three miles at Wawa order. Already picked up by someone else. Damn. Damn. Such a cute cat. I don't know. Who's your favorite Twitch e-girl, Colsey? That's a good question. Baby boy. Little boy. You're a sweet little baby. We don't want him. You're such a They make Christmas special and put put coke in the weed. Okay, I'll have to check that one out. I don't think I saw that one. Mr. Paul's so cute. I know, dude. Just... This dude. <laughs> Grabbing himself some paper towel. He's trying to he's trying to grab some paper towel to wipe wipe off his paws. Let me help you out with that, buddy. I want you to be able to walk into a dispensary and ask for marijuana strain. Oh yeah, yeah. Instead of saying something like super, something super childish. Well, I don't really, you know, Chevy Five Speed. I don't, I don't really get down with uh, all the like wacky names, dude. I, I honestly, man, I just go in there and I'm like, I'm, I'm looking for some wax. I need a bulk deal. Just pick something for me. I don't, you know, something that's like on the hybrid side. The hybrid side of things. But as far as all the names go, I don't. I don't really uh, distinguish between the differences. I can't tell. I can't really tell, man. Fly fishing is the same way. Going to the fly shop, buy some flies. They also have crazy names. It's so, it's so funny. It's just tequila sunset. <laughs> you know, I I've never uh, I never caught anything with a with a fly. I, you know, I I haven't gone fishing in in a while, but uh. Uh, you know, it's like the only thing that really catches fish is worms. <laughs> they don't really fuck with the flies. Or the, the little rubber worms or whatever. I guess it's, it's, maybe that's different.
So my favorite Twitch e-girl is B Bastilla. Okay. Hmm. She has more class than others. She doesn't do content on, on live that shouldn't be on Twitch. Okay, I see what you're saying. Maybe a little bit more wholesome. I can appreciate that, you know. A lot of these, a lot of these like Twitch e girls, I guess. I don't. I mean, just YouTube, really, just there's like streamers, you know, influencers or whatever. And so, uh, you know, it's not just limited to other uh, girls, but like, you know, what I mean, most of the content creators in general are just. In my opinion, just lacking in talent and and charisma and just ability and you know some of you look at some of the content creators and you know it's not you know it's not something that's just limited to the geek space but get, the geek space is a, good, is a good example of you know you look at like all the top content creators and like they're all they're all kind of like shitty and stupid and you know they just like have just like the biggest ego that's really the only thing that is is fueling them you know to the top is like the algorithm and they just have a giant head about them they're not actually like uh you know more like brilliant or more correct about anything than any other regular person ever tried skooma oh yeah oh yeah talking to a hardcore skooma addict baby kajit has where where's for you <laughs> no audio never mind it's back okay gotcha does that sometimes bro It does do that sometimes. Love. You need to stop going up there. You're my son, and I love you. You're my little baby boy. You sweet little boy. And there are armies of NPC simps. Honestly, Ryan L., I'm I'm of the mind that just look up de dead internet theory. That's what I think is going on there. I believe that most internet interactions are are AI generated. They're just computers interacting with other computers. Uh, if you actually, you know, most of these, most of these, like, uh, you know, like, you know, the people in these these audiences. I mean, just, uh, you know, the alternative, the alternative that there's actually two hundred something people out there that are actually naive and 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 dumb enough to, and really just like lacking in taste enough to watch Darth bet on you, you know, but. Who knows, man? What do I know? Alexander, super chat. What's up, man? Welcome back. What do you think is the most dangerous drug to use once? Uh, fentanyl. Fentanyl. And then I would say probably, probably like Trank or whatever, you know? I guess as I understand it's it's called there's other you know crocodile there's other dangerous horribly dangerous substances but yeah just the ones that the ones that can cause respiratory failure the ai won't be everything will be ai won't be humans running anymore right did you see i think they finally fixed the glitch after all this time Really? Is there anybody out there that can give us confirmation on that? If you're listening to this right now, are you able to use the glitch? Big V, what's up, man? Long time. Yeah, I've been around. Uh, he said, I hope you're good. I'm alright, man. I'm doing okay. Just so so, man. Five out of ten. Hope you're alright, man. Things are going good at home. What about dropping these any bars? Well. I would say, uh, if you if you drink alcohol with with Zanny bars, Chevy Five Speed, uh, you're gonna probably experience severe memory loss. But, um, you know, you probably won't die. 
you might, you know what I mean? It's like you could crash your car, but um, yeah, I don't think I don't think dropping Zanny bars is gonna like, uh, you know, you think the 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 probability of that that dropping you dead is pretty low, but um, the fatty that'll that'll kill you quick, man. It's just a very very tiny amount can can kill somebody. I guess as I uh, understand it, you know, I, I never, I never fucked with those kind of drugs. I was never into opiates, but <clears throat> as I understand it, they're, uh, the street drugs are no longer. There's not even any hair on it anymore. It's all just fetty. We need Mr. Mackey in here, okay? Drugs are bad, okay? <laughs> if you smoke, you're gonna get cancer. Let me tell you something. Cancer's bad, okay? And then he turns around and he's like, holy shit. <laughs> Did you hear Big Macs and Kelly will go to $20? Is that, <laughs> is that right? That sounds like a lot. Damn, dude. Big Macs and Kelly will go to $20. When When's that supposed to happen? Can't find stuff around here, right? It's just best not to get involved, bro. You know? The drugs these days are so low quality and just, you know, most, most... Most street drug sales are just people ripping each other off. You're not if you if you go to try to buy drugs, you're probably not going to get what you're looking for. So it's best just not to get, not don't waste your money, don't waste your time, don't waste your health. Just don't get involved. Just smoke weed. It's in a book. Take a look. It's reading Rainbow. <laughs> Man, I wonder what Lavar's doing right now. Good to see you reading Rainbow. Wouldn't be the same without you. Honestly, man, I really should crack a, a book open. Some, I'm such a functionally illiterate fuck. They really fix it. I'm fucked. I made 6k last month from it. Damn, dude. <laughs> well. I don't... I don't know if your... The... the, the your, your cash flow is directly attributable to your ability to use the glitch. Um, there's probably a contributing factor, but I don't think it's the basis of your income. But, um, just if and when it does get fixed, then just know that it should have never had, have existed in the first place. So... Anyway, I hope you, uh, <laughs> I hope you make another 6K next month, dude. Sounds like a lot. RMBD02, welcome back, friend. To, to just take some acid and go for a hike. Yeah, yeah I guess, man. It's to each his own. Like I said, always operate within the boundaries of the law. Five guys is almost 20 here. Yeah, I don't I don't eat there. I've, there's a few of them. There's a couple of them around here, but I've never eaten there before. The closest one to here is probably like eight, eight, ten miles, I don't know. Go gag or fetty and go night night. Yeah, <laughs> take a dirt nap. <laughs> Who'd win in a fight, Mr. Mackey or David Van Dreesen? Hmm, not really sure who that is. David Van Dreesen. Let's see. Let me Google that person really quick. Let's see if I know who they are. Oh, okay, the, the teacher from Beavis and Butthead. Right, right, okay. <laughs> um, I would say uh, Mr. Mackey would probably win. I put my money on Mackey. The guy seems, the guy's, that guy right there seems really soft. Mr. Mackey, he's got, uh, you know what I mean? He's got a little bit of, uh, like, like, you know, a fighter spirit, so. Who made 6K? Yeah, I don't know. It's just, sounds like maybe a... Maybe he's just guesstimating. Maybe he's just rounding up. I don't think anybody's making 6k a month off DoorDash. That'd be wild. If they are, they're driving a lot of fucking miles. They're very tired. But... 
I did okay. We'll have to take your word for it. Dang, I remember when you were doing live with Robert and Pedro just came in and interrupted. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, <laughs> that was funny, dude. <laughs> Man, it's a fucking drama farmers, bro. Okay, 2K from trimming weed. Okay, I stand corrected. Thank you for the clarification. Yeah, man, I wish I knew. I wish I knew some people that needed some buds trimmed. That would be a perfect job for me, bro. Honestly, that would be right up my alley. But I'm just... I don't know. I'm not very well connected. But I'm not a very well connected guy. But I'm going to put some applications in tomorrow. I'm going to put a resume in. For some driving jobs. Yeah, because Cali fast food minimum wage to twenty dollars. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna raise the prices of twenty bucks a burger. I could be wrong, but I think I think they're uh Instead of the food going to twenty dollars a burger, it's just gonna have to be the CEO's salary goes from thirty million to like a couple million. But we'll see what happens. But you know, it's just that like you know, like Big V, if you think about it, and anybody else listening, like people are always like, if you raise if you raise minimum wage, then prices are gonna go up. But if you look at our country, like wages have been the same since the seventies and prices have been going up, so it's like you know, it's like what's What's the disconnect there? If 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 giving people twenty dollars an hour causes food prices to go up, how have food prices been going up? But people are only making seven dollars an hour, or you know what I mean the the minimum the federal minimum wage has been seven twenty five. They're not making. They, you know what I mean that's not to say people are making that, but you know the federal the federal minimum has has been stagnated for like forty years. So it's just I don't you know there's there are economic there are economic forces uh, at hand you know. That, you know, these contributing, de determining factors that, you know, like, somewhere along the line, there's like a, there's like some kind of like misunderstanding on my part, exactly, as to how these, these forces interact with one another. Earl of Laurel, <laughs> who bought me a membership, that was our good, fa uh, good friend, uh, the God, the Godfather, the Good friend of the community. Good friend of mine, in fact. Why? Um, just because he's a nice guy. He's just he's he's a team player. He's he's got a like a strong sense of community, and uh, you know, um, I think I think Mike's actually a family man. So, and he's uh, he's got a bit of, a bit of a green thumb, as I understand it. But uh, no, he uh, just bought you a membership because just out of the goodness of his heart, I guess. I don't know. It's just. Kind of a just fun, fun little nice thing to do. Uh, you know, memberships on this channel are ninety nine cents, and it's just sometimes people like to, uh, you know, like uh, buy, you know, like a uh, gift, gift some randomly, gift some memberships. So it's just a little, just a fun little thing we do have have going around here. So McD's workers here in Kelly told me they already told him his hours will be cut once they go to twenty hour dollars an hour. Workers will be expected to do more when clocked in. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll have to see how that goes, man. We'll have to see how that goes. Cause uh, you know, when I was when I was working at Taco Bell, you know, I I was uh, I was a junior manager and I was I was making seventeen an hour. Those that, that was the last wage that I was able to work at. And when I was on the OT clock, you know, that was like twenty, you know, before taxes, obviously, but it's like twenty four dollars an hour. You know, it's just to you know, obviously, like I said, I was a I was a shift leader, but you know, it's pretty good money for just sitting there making tacos and taking orders. You know. Just diminishing returns, and they just expect the world out of you, and you got to work all these hours, and you got to work, uh, you know, five, six, seven hours in a row without a break, and you just they just, you know, the upper managers just gaslight you, and shit just gets fucked up, and then, you know, start developing mental problems over time, and go homeless, and you start having to live at the stores, and just all kinds of stupid bullshit happens, and one of the employees attacks you with a knife and just all this kind of 
I guess not really attack, but threaten. To be more clear, but shit got real. It got it did it got real pretty quick, but and then you, yeah, man, it's just one thing leads to another. And you gotta sit there and wait for HR to complete their investigation, even though you didn't do nothing wrong. And just got a bunch of kids just trying to try and lie on you to get you fired because they hate you. And I hate them, and everybody just hates each other. You know, it's just the point is, guys, don't ever work for Taco Bell. You'll have a bad time. Maybe we can ask Dad Dash to see his degree. He's talking Dr. Dad Dash, resident sociologist, PhD, Nobel laureate, who did his dissertation on the inner workings of the gig worker mind. He comes from a long line of family doctors, as indicated by his wife working in the mental health field. Board certified and certifiable, let's be real. I worked at a grocery store where employees smoked crack and the homeless people threw candy at me on my way into work. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much so like Taco Bell, bro. Sounds like Taco Bell. You know, where I live, there's not really too many homeless people. The homeless problem is pretty, pretty, uh, uh, you know, it's like, it's like, a uh, just, just, uh, just pales in comparison to what you guys experience out in California, for example. Um, or, you know, I know um, a couple of you guys are from, uh, the, the Pacific Northwest. So that region has a lot, a lot of difficulties with homelessness too. But yeah, it's just, I don't know. I worked at I worked at a few grocery stores too, and it was it was not not any any better, man. Working eight board certified, yeah, board certifiable, right? It's just these these jobs working at fast food <clears throat> and grocery stores. They're just they're dehumanizing and exploitative, <clears throat> and they just gaslight you, and they don't they don't pay you what you're worth, you know. And, they don't pay you enough to, you know, to live off of where you're not worried about bills and shit. You can't do your job right if you're, like, worried about the lights getting shut off. Happy people, happy people are the crazy ones at this point. What are your thoughts on socialism failing because of American capitalistic imperialism? My thoughts on socialism failing. Well, if you look at uh, some of these, like, European countries, and, like, say, Japan or, like, Australia, um, they have greater uh, degrees of socialism, and they're doing a lot better than we are in pretty much every measurable way. So, um, you know, cap capitalistic imperialism, <clears throat> yeah, I suppose that's that's an accurate description of what we're living in. I would call it more of, like, a... Like a corporate hegemonic dystopia. You know, a hell on earth, if you will. Reading Rainbow. Alright. Just come back. Come back in a little while. Splash some water on your face. Alright. Let you match. Let, you know, put it out on your wrist. You're gonna be alright. But in this in this chat, there are only two people that are banned permanently. So it's all the same. Um we would rather just talk about something that people actually give a fuck about. So, anyway, go take a look. It's in a book. The have you ever looked into the Amazon DSP job? No, I never did. I never did. Hmm. Amazon DSP. Is that like their? their were they uh, the drive around in the the Sprinter van or whatever? I'm a Ross Rainbow. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what they would pay. Well, it's going to be twenty nine ninety five a month. So nobody gives... A f yeah, exactly, bro. Could not have said it any better, Ryan. We live in Cyberpunk 2077, but without the cyber, it's just punk. <laughs> There's barely any punks anymore, so it's just 2077. Huh. I'll have to take your word for it. I never saw that. That's that's a, what is that? that? That's a movie, right? Cyberpunk 27, 2077. Yeah, I never saw that one. Well, yeah, it's just it's a corporate dystopia. But uh, to bring it back around, Cole C. Um, the, I would say I'm not I'm not very worldly. Um, I don't know much about geopolitics. So 
I think I think the framing the the framing of it is maybe confusing. The, the socialism failing because of American capitalistic imperialism. I'm not I'm not so sure socialism is a failure. Um, it's just every every society is you know it's not it's not a question of are we going to be capitalist or are we going to be socialist. It's it's a question of how much of each are we going to implement you know it's it's like each every society has elements of capitalism and socialism like here in america we have fire departments and roads you know those are paid for by taxes and we also have a social security program uh, that people pay into from their jobs you know and then when they get old uh, they get to draw uh they get to draw money uh monthly and that keeps them from uh, being poor and it's a social program it's a socialist program that that, um, you know what I mean? Um, economic, you know, like uh, like poli uh, the political science uh, demonstrates that it reduces, el uh, you know, um, uh, old person poverty. So it's just a question of how much socialism are we going to have? Um, so anyone seen Terry Gilliam's Brazil? Or did I just age out of being in this chat? No, I've seen that one. I've seen Brazil. It's a very bizarre movie. It's kind of a mind fuck. Huh. It's a good question, man. I haven't seen that since I was since I was a youngster. I have to check that out again. Yeah, Brazil. That's a it's pretty it's a pretty crazy movie, man. It's, kinda, it's a mind bender if I remember correctly. These people are so fucking weird, bro. I know. That's just that's our people, man. That's who we are. Just, just a gaggle of weirdos. We live in Brazil, gotcha. Reading rain by now, dude. <laughs> Spurging out over here, man. It's all good, man. We all have our moments. Folks, if you're out there listening to this right now and you're 420 friendly, I invite you to read with me from the book of J-O-B. This thing is clogged up so easy. Where's Jordy LaForge? I don't know. I don't know, man. Where's LaVar? Probably in the lower decks. God would have taken Job's dabs. He did, dude. He did. No, to be clear, to be clear, Earl of Laurel, um, Satan in the story is the one who uh, takes away. You know, just just that it's just that God allows uh, Satan to use uh, Job as a pawn to prove a point in a wager. But no, it's a. Uh, Maybe maybe I maybe I'm confused, man. Maybe maybe it is God. <laughs> not not I'm thinking about it. Maybe it is God that fucks him over. I can't remember now. Either way, he let it happen. So it's just an interpretation. Have you ever hooked on? Have you ever have hooked on phonics when you were a kid? No, I I never really had too much of a problem learning how to read. I uh, I struggled a little bit at first learning how to read. Um, then you know what I mean I uh right around like between the first and the second grade I uh. Started learning how to read. So. After that, it was good. But it was just a rough start. It was a rough start. Reading Rainbow is buck wild. Yeah, he's definitely definitely got a one-track mind. Satan teaches Eve how to read and then sets this whole thing, set this whole shit off, right? Right. He said, Satan is the good guy. A whole different book. Yeah, some would say that. Some would actually say that. <sighs> You're not wrong. It depends on... It just depends on who's reading it, really. I pronounce it Brasil. Gotcha. We're Americans here. 
<clears throat> we hit our Z's a little bit different. Who's Garden? Um, I don't know. He said God was all-knowing. He would have known that Job was going to win in the first place, so he could have just rewarded him then and there. Yeah, it's just that he had to prove a point. It's a fucking movie from England. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that movie. I know what you're talking about. I've seen that before. It's like kind of a trippy movie. It's like very hard to follow. You have to watch it a few times to understand it correctly. So I am back in church. Yeah, yeah. Just remember to pray in your closet. Alone in the dark where only your father can hear you. Anyways, I made almost 100 in a day for the first time in months. Yeah, I do. The other day I hit 100 and I hit triple digits. I was like, I was like, I was like amazed, like dumbfounded. So I compromised just a little to get to 10%. Got a catering order. Gotcha. Yeah. These days, man, if you want, if you want to make any money, you have to take, you're going to have to take some reverse orders. It's just the way it is. Otherwise, you're just going to sit around and not, not make shit. There's nothing else to choose from. Sorry, every time I reference the movie, someone tells me about the country. Like, I've never heard of it. Okay. Yeah. It's just... Brazil's actually been on a lot of people's minds recently, so... Because of uh, President Lula's recent comments. Have you seen the movie In Time? Yeah, with Justin Timberlake. Yeah, I've seen that one. You like Gr Greenwald? Hmm, I'm not sure who that is. Let me see. Let me, let me Google that one really quick. Greenwald. Greenwald, is that? All I'm coming up with is Gre Glenn Greenwald. I don't know who that is. I don't know. Maybe you're talking about a different Greenwald, but that's just a. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. When it comes to journalists, very uh. Very highly, highly selective about who I'll take seriously and who I'll listen to. Glenn knows more about Lula. That's okay. The same. Okay, I got you. You don't know anything about about that guy. Glenn is one of the best in the world. I have to take your word for it. Most journalists are just corporate mouthpieces. If the dude's on any major network, then he's pretty much. Persona non grata in my book. None of these corporation news media outlets can be trusted. Nor can any of their so-called journalists. Damn thing gets clogged so easily. Just like my arteries. Glenn is why you know Ed Snowden's name. Huh. Thought that was because of Julian Assange. Nope. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's the first I'm hearing about it. You see, let me let me read more about this guy. Glenn Greenwald. American journalist. Hmm. Recognition.
His reporting on the National Security Agency won numerous awards around the world. Hmm. So, <laughs> you saying <clears throat> I know who Edward Snowden is because of Glenn Greenwald, and they want to put Edward Snowden in jail, but not Glenn Greenwald. So I'm a little confused. Dude's a fucking legend. Okay. Oh my gosh, that is such a better way to smoke out of a nectar collector. What is that silicon piece called? I need one ASAP. Oh yeah, this uh, this is um, you know what I mean? It's just like a rubber. It's just like a rubber hose attachment. All these all these pieces were sold. We were uh, purchased separately. So, but um, yeah, this is just a. Uh, it's like a little like a glass needle, and then um, this yeah, this rubber hose. It's a uh, you know just like a rubber hose attachment, and then. That plugs right into there, and then this is a, you know what I mean, it's just a cup. It's just like all, it's all rubber. All silicone. Silicone. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> yeah. It's all, it's all interchangeably connected. Dude is a fucking legend. I have to take your word for it, man. I'm, I'm a highly skeptical individual, so I have to be, uh, you know, I have to be pretty wary about, about accepting journalists. They're very, they're very untrustworthy people generally speaking are there nutrient vapes? I don't, I don't know what that means hmm are there nutrient vapes? I'm not sure the current economic system here is a swirling vortex of unmitigated cringe yes this is a downward spiral of failure interwoven with self-hatred Snowden made his shit public through Greenwald. Be skeptical. Now you have homework. Okay. <laughs> I have homework now. <laughs> I'll, have to, I'll have to put it in my agenda. Let me see what you're saying here. Glitch dash shit segment of the night brought to you by DoorDash. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Charmin. Yeah, don't forget the bidet. Now, I'm now uh, an agent of Big Bidet. If it turns out Glenn is great, it will change your life. <laughs> if it turns out Glenn is dog shit, you won't waste much time. You are smart. Check him out. He might even let you on his show. Yeah. 
How was your Sunday? Yeah, it was alright, man. Just, just got caught up on some rest. Mustard Tiger, what's up? Welcome back. Who Glenn? Uh, Glenn Greenwald, I guess. I don't know. My favorite politician is... <laughs> uh, that's funny, bro. Yeah, it's, it's pretty funny on a pretty typically regular basis. Whew, man, it's kind of chilly out here. It's not as cold. It's not quite as cold as it was last night, but I'm gonna, we'll kick it out here for a minute, man. I gotta finish the rest of these. The rest of these flowers. Ronald Reagan. Yeah. I guess I was a, I was a small baby. I was just an infant when Ronald, Ronald Reagan was president. I actually didn't learn that until recently. So you were under a thousand subs when I came aboard. Okay, gotcha. It's growing steadily, that's true. Not kidding, if you talked about mental health and working class shit, he might let you on. Well, I'm just I'm just like a regular nobody. And to be completely honest with you, Earl of Laurel, if, if I got a chance to be on somebody's like corporate television news media channel or, uh, you know, their, their uh, like news news program, on TV, I would probably, like, I'd probably troll him, honestly. I'd probably just use the opportunity to fuck with him and just fuck on him on live, live on TV. Just because I'm a shitlord, you know? I don't know. <laughs> You're our leader, I know. That's how we know we're fucked, bro. The blind leading the blind, straight up. <laughs> My baby sister used to call him pregnant Ray, Ray Gander. Hmm. He's not corporate. He'd own you if, if you tried. Okay. Well, like, I'm a bumbling, stumbling jackass, you know, so I'm not really that hard to own. But honestly, he'd probably just gish, gish gallop me and just control the narrative, and it's usually, it's usually what these exchanges devolve into. Why, so why troll a guy you don't know? I don't know. And just we're just we're just speaking like uh, in a hypothetical scenario. You know, you're talking about me like getting like what like, what are we what are we what are you even talking about here, man? Me reaching out to like some like famous person and them like having having like me like a you know like a voiceless faceless nobody on their show. So, I mean, what are we even doing here? <laughs> Jenkin balloons, I know, dude. It's my favorite shit of all. He would crush you with fact. I mean, okay. He has nobodies on his show. Well, I don't know, man. <laughs> Sounds like maybe not of a very maybe it's not a very good format. I don't know. <coughs> it's like, why do you want? Like, why? Why do you want me to be friends with this guy so bad? Why you have so much riding on me and this dude hitting it off? I'm not picking a fight. It was just a suggestion. I know we're just fucking around here. Why are you? Why are your friends buying me a membership here? What's well, ra it's random? It's randomly selected. So it was just a random pick, but. Not I'm not trying to pick a fight with you, but I hope I hope you and I are. Uh, you know, you said you, why are your friends buying me? Well, I hope I hope you and I are friends too. <clears throat> at least <clears throat> at least not new enemies. So. You're the black pilled OP of the gig row. <laughs> no shit from these busters, right? <laughs> right. I'm just you know, I am I am right there up there with the jaded driver. You know, I come in peace. Okay. But chat wants some. Nah, we're just fucking around, man. Just, like I said, the internet is a bored place. It's a very the gig space is very boring, and honestly, at this point, we're just we're just trying to get some kind of laugh, you know. Usually, it doesn't work. 
Were you trying? Were you talking about Jenkum, the drug? Yeah, yeah. It's talk, also known as butthash. It's very popular among the Zambian youth. Because if you are, this just proves that humans are nasty creatures. Well, honestly, it's just. Thank you for that super chat, by the way, man. I appreciate you. Damn, dude, I can't start a poll, dude. That's. I hate that shit, man. I can't even start a damn poll. Anyway, yeah, Jankum is, uh, is very popular among the Zambian youth. So. What's up, Albert? Peace is so overrated. <laughs> it would seem so. It would seem so these days. War is so much better. It can help make, help take out political ideologies that you don't like. Well, you can't you can't kill an idea, you know. You can suppress it. You can sequester it away, and isolate it, and compartmentalize it. But you're only delaying the inevitable. The truth always comes out in the wash, one way or another, even if it takes a thousand years. Pulls are just another tool of the man. Fair enough. Fair the fucking off, man. Always asking me questions. I know, dude. Did you get your, your? <laughs> um, you talk about the, the sushi? No, the the sushi place still is not opened yet, man. Still hasn't opened yet. Can't spell Jesus or sushi without sus. <laughs> You're not wrong, bro. <laughs> he said I was my super running. <laughs> it's, it's doing okay, man. Probably needs an oil change soon. Got any jokes? Just the joke of a, the American story. No, <clears throat> time to wake up is the joke, man. How do you kill a mountain? How you? How do you make it fall? Well, you chip away every day, and soon the clay will fade away. In the hole you dug, in the dream, you hug, will be you plug in your ear. Gotcha. Can't you hear? Nice. My life is a joke. Same here. My life is basically just a pile of shit. Just been homeless multiple times, been addicted to meth for a lot of years, and just been working menial entry-level jobs for the last 20 years, and just been spinning my wheels in the mud. So... Don't, don't feel bad if you feel like your life is a joke. Albert, or anyone else listening to this, you're not alone. What's an oil change? Yeah, exactly. It's when you, when you go to the dispensary and you change hash oils. <laughs> Priest of Rabbi, see a little kid walking down the street. Oh God, I don't like where this is going. Uh, you know how priests are. Can't be trusted. How do you kill sunshine? How do you turn it? Okay, I see. It's poetic. Are you dumb? I <laughs> said so I'm dumb. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Same. <laughs> it's funny. No, um, Earl of Laurel. I don't. Uh, I don't usually. Typically, I don't really tell jokes, but. My most of my humor is like situational and uh, you know just like like a very very dry and like deadpan types type 
style of humor and just really most most of the humor that I provide is a uh, just like under underpins the just like the bull bullshittedness and unfairness of it all. So it's really I don't know, man. We are <clears throat> we are a species at war with ourselves. Damn, you were addicted to meth, man. You don't look like the type of person to do that. I'm glad you stopped. My dad died of it in 2019. Yeah, it's, it's a terrible drug. Where's the Wolverine electrical dude? He's in here somewhere. Don't worry, he's lurking. I don't like jokes either. No one jokes as an icebreaker. Yes! Down entire Catholicism due to a few priests, not just a few though. More than a few. The Wolverine guy was bugging. Well, he's just trying to he's just trying to help. He means well. You know what I mean, nobody, nobody comes up in this chat. Even the, even the trolls, you know. Nobody comes up in this chat. Other than with, with some kind of, you know what I mean, just good, 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 good spirit at heart. Even if they're in here, just a, like a, you know, just a troll and fuck on us. It's not like it's out of malicious intent or nothing. So, you know, the guy, he's got a good career. He's made his money, and he's trying to point to it to other people you know as a pathway to other people that are clearly struggling so you know I definitely can definitely appreciate the guy's motivations my dad maybe check his oil what did you find I am your good spirit. If I wanted to troll, I'd talk more. Okay. There is something to be said about a long game. There's definitely something to be said about the long, <clears throat> the long troll, the long troll game. Are you locked in a in the cut cage, sir? No, I don't think so. <laughs> no. Sounds like one of the fake movie trailers from Tropic Thunder. More like an imitation of it. The low voice announcer. Looks like genuine though. So they made up. If they built, if they let priests marry, it wouldn't be a problem. Well, it it would certainly probably would mitigate the problem for sure. I don't know if it would eliminate it, but yeah, you're not wrong, man. It's just when you force somebody to deny their basic human instincts for their whole life, then it starts to manifest itself in weird ways, you know? What's your favorite superhero? I don't know, man. Spider-Man, I guess? I don't know. Back in the cuck cage. Well, I thought it was a cuck shed. It was a swing? I thought it was a shed. Dude, I got no game, but if you are sure I am, you'll make a self-fulfilling prophecy. I am a tiny dog. Be nice or I bite. <laughs> okay. I'll try to keep that in mind. Wish I had a treat to give you. It's just... Like I said, man, I just don't... As far as, like, humor and, like, uh, you know... Me too, I know. It's just, like I said, man, I'm trying to... You know... Most of the time I'm trying to think of some something... As far as, you know, anytime someone asks for a joke, it's like, uh, I don't... Sorry. Uber Eats must have sent out promotions to everybody in Colorado Springs because over the last two weeks, orders have been skyrocketing. Huh, that's weird. Of 
Made 200 today in like seven hours. Okay. It's actually pretty good money, man. If I had a day like that, I would be like amazed. You know, <clears throat> this past weekend, I made a little bit of money, you know, this past week or whatever, but just the last couple days, my shifts have just been, they just ended in disaster, just because I'm like mentally, I'm just like, I'm like not able to cope with like the, the you know, the stress anymore, and just the slightest thing goes wrong, and I just fly off the handle, and almost to the point where I can't even bring myself to turn these fucking apps on anymore, you know? At this point, it's just an addiction. Wes, what's up, man? Good to see you, bro. Hopefully you had a good weekend. Hopefully everybody had a blessed Lord's Day. Rolling right into Monday here. You want attention, but rebuff it. Why? I'm not really sure what you mean. I want attention, but I, I rebuff it. In what way? In what way, though? Did... <clears throat> did that guy offer... Is he, like, offering a slot on a show? Or I'm, I'm just confused. I guess I'm a little confused about what you mean. Made 72 in five hours, got pissed, and went home. Yeah, it's just... It's been full gas, right? Doing okay, same here. Just hanging in there. We have a YouTube channel, and you seem a little disgruntled about it. Well, just have a just a, just have a have had a difficult life and just stressed out about finances and stuff. So. Sorry if that had came off the wrong way. Thomas is always disgruntled. Yeah, I just have. Been walking around with a chip on my shoulder for like 20 years. Back to UPS tomorrow. Yeah, that's kind of what I was figuring. That's kind of what I figured. Just getting some R&R &R this weekend. So. Hopefully things go good. I know there's always been fucking union drama. Drama at the shop, man. Office politics. Before gas, right? Yeah, it sucks, man. Did a bunch of lift, okay. Fed up with apps, honestly. I'm just to be compl to to complete be completely honest, man. I'm just fed up with this life. Just fed up with America, and just just fed up with like watching like shit, and, you know, just like economically and like financially, and like the society just like unraveling around us, and just all this chaos, man. All this chaos and misery. Just, just sucks, man. It's hard to watch. The world's on fire right now. Maybe that's a misperception on my part. Maybe I'm just watching a lot of bad media coverage. I don't know, but it just seems like there's a lot of sadness in the world right now. A lot of difficulty in America. I feel it. Thomas, did you make up with the family? Life is too short, brother. No, I never did. I don't want to brag, but the chip on my shoulder is made out of titanium. <laughs> Just kidding, broken collarbones are no joke. Okay. So I'm, now I'm wondering, Earl of Laurel, when, when it, a, a storm front is moving in, does that cause your previous injury to, to ache? Is that something that you experience? Just fed up with the mushy moves, I know, dude. It's probably a good way to say it, you know, honestly. Just fed up with the bullshit. I think you're supposed to sit on your haunches and bark pretty to get get on the show glitch dash. Gotcha, gotcha. That I can do. 
the American Empire is cannibalizing itself. Yeah. Lady Voldy. Hello, welcome. Hope you're having a lovely night. Oh, it's chilly here, man. It's starting to shiver. I am, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. Cuddle Mr. Paulus. Well, the truth is, he doesn't really like to be held. He doesn't really... He doesn't like it when you pick him up. He'll come up and he'll sit on your lap and make biscuits, but only under special circumstances. Is that a deck on the apartment? Yeah, we have a we have a patio deck. It's a balcony. The cats are becoming fat and I and lazy. I reduced their food down to eight ounce per day. Okay, I gotcha. Thomas, you make up with the family. There might be inheritance. <laughs> oh, their help opened up to you. I'm not I'm not going to reconcile falsely with people you know what I mean I'm not going to do that just like try to get something out of it man good bro we're good Life is short, but shorter for others. What's the PCAM? Well, you haven't paid the premium. The premium, if you will. So once I see the twenty nine ninety five month in the damn account, then we can talk talk business. But until then. I know you just you just got here, we just met. So let's get to know each other first and then one thing will lead to another. So welcome to the channel, by the way. <laughs> so what what family? I don't know. Not, <clears throat> not completely estranged with all my family, but love them I am. For a lot of different reasons. Said sorry to pry. No, it's all good. No, no need to apologize. It's a valid concern. It's a legitimate inquiry. Honestly, a lot of them, a lot of them are probably, they're, they're probably good, you know? I don't blame them. Change the scenery helped me keep gigging somewhere cool, like a beach, a beach town, yeah. You know? And then we're, you know, I go, go to a beach town and it's like I gotta sleep in a tent somewhere under a bridge. You got nowhere to stay. It's just gonna be, you know, sleeping in the car, have back problems and shit, just can't get good sleep. Can't get in a good mood because can't get good sleep. Can't do good work because you're not gonna, in a good mood because you can't get good sleep. You know what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? It's like one thing. It's like, it's very, it's difficult. You know, I see what you're saying. It has its appeal. It does have its appeal. But... <laughs> so my family hates me. I'll bet you say mean things, which isn't 
that bad compared to everything else. Well, I've just... I don't know, it's a complicated subject. But I did say, I did say mean things. But, you know, I also kind of got fucking dicked over. But I guess that's a matter of perspective. My family loves me. It's good to hear, man. Cherish that. Don't take it for granted. Watch that Marty, he's full of shenanigans, gotcha. Try to keep that in mind. I'm a pretty lucky guy, nice. I guess I'm pretty lucky too, all things considered. What's up, yup? Good to see you, bro. Hope you have a good night tonight, man. My vehicles are big enough to get mad good sleep in. That's that's awesome, bro. I I drive a two door, little Honda, Honda Prelude. I, I got the the front seat taken out, so I can I can lay down and sleep in it, but I gotta be pretty tired to be able to fall asleep. So I come in peace, possibly several times. Just got home from the apps right on. Yeah, I did eight dollars and one deliver <clears throat> one delivery today. Just couldn't couldn't keep going man. Just couldn't do it. Stress just gets to me. What are you doing up so late? I slept all day. Just been sleeping all day. I'm kind of a night person, so what strain you smoking on? That's a good question, man. I'm not sure. These are actually just the, just the 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 roaches from the pre-rolls. I don't really, to be honest with you, I don't pay attention to all the, the different strains, all the different flavors. They kind of all smoke the same to me, a lot of the time. I feel my palate is not very discerning. Yeah, I did a uh, I did one grub hub today for eight dollars going six miles, and I I uh, almost did a second one, but some some weird sus bullshit happened with the app and I ended up canceling the order. Blue Sherm gotcha. Yeah, strains are accessories in a lifestyle culture. No offense, lady. Hmm. You ever seen Face Off with Nick Cage? No, I never saw that one. I missed that one. I know which one you're talking about. I just never saw it. Picky with dabs, but not with flour. Gotcha. Most flour's good. Yeah, I think so. You sound like po Pollux Troy. Hmm. I really should go see that movie. Just go watch that tonight. Anybody who know who I'm talking about? Pollux Troy. Well, the reason I'm speaking like this is because it's 2 a.m. here and I'm trying to trying to keep my voice down. Sometimes I'm a bit of a loudmouth jackass. A little spurgy, so my voice is uh, very audible sometimes. It carries. I start getting loud when I get excited. Just gotta keep my damn voice down. People are trying to sleep around here. Chem dog, don't like much cake. Okay. Yeah, some some of them give me anxiety. You gotta be quiet in the cut cage. Oh, this is what you're talking about. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is a bad 
basket. <laughs> That's funny, bro. Let's make a good thumbnail later. Said so you seem pretty cool. Thank you. It's the sativas that give you anxiety. I have heard that before. Honestly, Mike, I think it's sometimes it's just my frame of mind. I'm just a very anxious person. Smoking exacerbates it sometimes. <laughs> He's in jail for glitching. Yeah. Permanently. Permanently axed. Permanently draxed and sclounced. Why does the Dash community pick on you? Like this Torp guy, he talked smack about you. Meanwhile, he's a fake Dasher. Well, I don't I don't know of any concerted effort from the Dash community to pick on me, but I haven't thought about Torp until just now that you brought him up, and I haven't thought about him in a long time, so... I don't... I don't necessarily know if he's a fake dasher but he's just boring you know why does Torp pick on you I have no idea I can't speak on that I don't watch the content Torp's, Torp's channel is too boring for me I don't watch it who's Torp yeah exactly shit puts me to sleep and you know when I'm watch when I'm watching a YouTube channel when I'm trying to watch content I don't want to be put to sleep no he's fake okay Gotcha. I'll have to take your word for it. It's the same as people saying tequila makes them crazy. When people win a lot, they do a lot and then blame it on what they do. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. It's like the alcohol makes them just like, it just like amplifies who they already are. Right? Sativa takes away my anxiety. I like to feel anxious on certain indica strains. Yeah, I just, I think it depends on where I'm at in my headspace. Torp is boring, preach brother. It just, like I said, man, most of the gig, gig content is boring dog shit. Most content creators are unwatchable. So. He's always at home during dinner. <laughs> That's right there, man. That's sus. Have you been mewing? Yeah, I have, dude. I have. Have you guys been? Can you tell? I've been. I've been working on, on my mewing. Torp has no content unless he has drama with someone, gotcha. I will have to leave that in y'all's capable hands. These are the same weirdos that have been in Necro stream the past week or so, gotcha. It's, honestly, it's probably just the same person. It's whatever, man, just part of the game. Um, yeah. Meow, mew, no, no, mewing. It's a, a therapeutic exercise. Torp sucks. Yeah, I tend to agree. Just most, like I said, most DoorDash content is unwatchable. It's right up there with Darth Bat on you or Glitcher or any of these motherfuckers. Just can't do it. Can't abide. <clears throat> Thomas, I'm not 100% with all my families. I still have unfinished business with my brother. Some unresolved issues. Yeah. I feel you. I think about it sometimes. What is mewing? Please elaborate. Well, you have to you have to look it up. It's a conversation for another time. I'm not, can't get into it right now. You are beautiful no matter what they say. Words can't bring glitch down. Thank you. Thank you so much for saying that. I needed that today. When? Question mark. You busy? Question mark. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing a live stream. What unfinished business? Yeah, just, just family issues. Me and Robert Reese bumped into each other outside of Panda Express. I talked to him briefly. It was awkward. Gotcha. 
That's what really happened. I was doing Grubhub when I saw him. Okay. Okay, peace. We'll talk when you have time. Okay. We have the email, so it's just Thomas Schubeck at Gmail. Feel free, feel free to reach out. Slap them. <laughs> a lot of people feel that way, bro. <laughs> a ton of people feel like that. Can you do a stealth camp? Maybe. So I have some abandonment issues that go back 20 years with my brother. Okay. Sometimes when it comes to older brothers, things are not so simple. It's really fucking warming out tonight, and it? It's pretty cold, man. My titties are starting to get hard. I was walking in my car. I was driving up when I saw him. Gotcha. It's bitter outside here lately in Michigan. Yeah. It is. The sun was out earlier today, but it's February. What can you do? Abandonment issues from your brother? Question uh, mark. Yeah, I mean, it just depends on the situation. Twenty-five here. Yeah, sounds about right. Sounds about right, bro. Pretty chilly right now. I haven't bumped into Sam Lee. I do see a lot of the same gig workers in my market. That's crazy. It seems like such a low probability of happening, you know? I see some of the same people sometimes, though, I guess. It happens. Just... Seems like out, out where you guys are, man, it's a huge market. You know, we always <clears throat> we always joke about how nobody's ever seen glitchered, you know, scum city deliveries in the field. But you know, obviously it's a you know kind of a running joke. But the fact is, Ve Vegas is fucking huge, bro. I've been to Las Vegas and it's, it's enormous. And the fact you know the idea that you would never run into somebody out in the field is not unsurprising. It's just vast, way way bigger than you would imagine. Remember Digital Nomad? Yeah. Yeah, I ran in t into him a couple times. He's actually a pretty cool dude. Very stylish, too. I see these two Instacart bot users often. Gotcha. I never see the same people doing gig work in my area. Very rare. Same here. It's, it's, bad. it's happened before, but it's on a very rare occasion. Bud Soda is cock. Uh, I don't really, I can't speak on that. He's definitely, have a, he has a different style of doing things. But I occasionally see a few smart shoppers too that I recognize. Yeah, if you go to the Walmart, you see the same shoppers a lot. Digital Nomad is still around. Yeah, that's what I heard. That's what I heard. Tofu's making some good money out there. Hopefully he's having a good night and Staying safe and prospering during these difficult times. Really, did you run into him in real life, Glitch? Did he find you? No, I ran into him. I ran into him twice. Now, did he did he just tune into my live stream and then and then find where I was at? Maybe, but you know, the first the first time I went to the B Dubs and I was waiting there. And then he walked in, but he was there to pick up an order. He picked up the order and left. And then I ran into him at the at the Denny's, which he was already there waiting. So no, he did not find me. 
Marty Digin Nomad is the guy. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. On a live, right? That's that's true. That's they were both, it was both during a live stream, yeah. I remember you were freaking out when he said he was gonna find you. Yeah, I just it was it was presented to me as as something to be to be concerned with and I just I have I struggle with mental problems and I just have to be honest with you man, I have paranoid schizoid tendencies, so he's begging to be famous in a Cyrax sort of way. Well that kind of that kind of notoriety comes with a price, so I don't really know much about the guy, but I think he's like I think I think Cyrax gets like like harassed and stalked pretty bad. Which sucks, you know. It shouldn't happen to nobody. You know, like people should not have to worry about uh, you know, like people people going out of their way to like come find them in real life, you know? Like people should uh should be able to you know, I think Cyrax, like people would be calling the cops on him and stuff, you know? Like the cops show up at his house. I've seen in some of the, the shorts. So it's just not I don't know. If he wants to be famous in that way. Good luck to him. I wish him the best. He did seem creepy the way he came across at first. Yeah, I just, I just made a mistake, man. Just human error. Just glad we were able to clear up the misunderstanding. It's just, like I said, man, it's life in America, you know, which a lot of us have unresolved mental problems and we're just not really able to get the help we need and just kind of have to solve our problems on our own. Some people, to be honest, probably some some people probably find me to seem creepy. So it's just a matter of perspective, I guess. I don't know. But seems like a nice man. after 2 a.m. here. Stay away from that dude he's been heard of said. Oh, well, like, I can't really speak on that. I don't know nothing about that. I'm at 8.50 for the last three days. Just Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Is that good for you? Is that, is that normal? Do you know the kingpin of the Cyrax thing? The orchestrator, the guy that made Cyrax famous, is in your chat. I'm not, I'm not familiar with any of those people. I'd have to, I'd have to know more about what you're talking about. Very waskly that one. Gotcha. Welcome back, Reading Rainbow. It's pretty good, right on. Good for you, man. Uber and DoorDash, gotcha. I think it's about four hundred dollars this week for gas. Gross.
Not like that, but okay. You have to take your word for it. I'll leave that. I have to leave that in y'all's capable hands. So he's going to Florida Wednesday morning. Gotcha. <clears throat> Safe travels. I'm gonna go find all these cherry pick. Right on. I wonder what he's been up to lately. Haven't heard from him in a while. Remember the guy yelling on the deliver? Uh, not off the top of my head. I, I think I, I think I know what you're talking about. That happens a lot though. So that kind of stuff happens pretty, pretty frequently. I think we're, I think we're thinking of the same thing though. The apartment, yeah. I think I remember that. I mean, I have his home address, so it wouldn't be hard to find him if he gave it to me. Well, I guess if he, if he gave it to you, just like hang out, but <laughs> I don't know. Dox him, don't do that. Nobody wants that. I don't dox people good. It's, it's really, it's a really terrible aspect of the internet, you know. People that are trying to like, you know, spill things over into people's people's real life, just interfere with their well-being. You're gonna suck up, suck suck him up, yup, gross. <laughs> Thomas, did Brian end up getting that W2? I think so. I think he did. I believe so. A good idea of where Glitch Dash lives too, but I ain't saying. Well, just, I don't know, man. Regular person, I don't have nothing for you here. Don't don't try to come find me. I mean, I'm from Michigan, so it wasn't hard to track your ass. For what purpose, though? What's the motivation, though? I don't know your address, but I know your area. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not that large of a town, you know? It's getting creepy now, dude. Honestly, to be honest with you, man, when people start talking like that, it makes me want to just end the channel, just walk away from it, because it's just not, it's not worth it, man. I'm just already, like, stressed out enough as it is, you know? Just, I don't know. I 
Just, you know what I mean? It's, it's like, feels like this is supposed to be for, like, for, like, fun and, like, entertainment and for, like, community outreach, you know, and knowledge and education, all that stuff. But sometimes it feels like what, what like, uh, you know, like, this, the channel is, like, turning out to be is, like, you know, I guess getting away from that. I don't know, man. See what we're talking about. He said, one day I'm gonna come smoke with you, Thomas. Oh, okay. Nah, fam. Could be a glitch dash and yup, smoke sesh. Gotcha. Two of the biggest potheads on YouTube. I don't know about all that. Now he's hiding. Well, just I'm just gonna wrap it up here. <clears throat>